Good evening, my wonderful lovelies. How are you doing? I hope you have had a wonderful day today. Um, it is dark. <laughs> and But there were several things that I wanted to share with you. Um, and I've got a haul and some friend mail to do. So uh, I was going to try to get all this done the other day and it just didn't work out that way. So here we go. <laughs> we're going to get started. Um, okay, so, I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out which to, which to show you first. Um, I had lost all my uh, kitchen and dining room items in the fire, so I've been kind of making do with what I've got now. Um, but one thing that I didn't have that I had lost was my uh, Christmas napkin rings because they were in a special place that was inside my kitchen. Um, so I decided uh, to be on the lookout for some napkin rings. Well, I just couldn't find any that I really liked. So I decided to make my own. <laughs> so, and my napkins, my Christmas napkins are not, um, and these were happened to be in storage, but these are not your traditional napkins. These are, uh, my mom used to call them Christmas roses. So that's what they look like. Very vintage looking. But this is the napkin ring that I made. Look at that shine. And you're not going to believe what it is. <laughs> I'm getting ready to show you. So. Let me grab this. The um, holographic and foil sheets that you can get at Dollar Tree. Um, there is 20 sheets in here. And one of the sheets just happens to be gold. And looks like this. Look at that. Whoa, I love it. But it is very flimsy. So in order to make my napkin rings, I had to put it on black cardstock. So what I did was I used double-sided tape and taped them take the gold onto the black and uh, then I trimmed them down and I did them an inch and a half wide and I trimmed them down and then what was left I made tags out of which I'm going to show you but this is how they look <laughs> so as you can see well if I can keep the, the shimmer off of it you can see where the tape is right on the edges and then I used one of those, where are they at? The Jolie's Poinsettia stickers. Um, which I only have three left now, so I'm not Jolie's. Recollections. Um, the Poinsettia Recollections. And uh, so I glued those, one of those, on each one of the napkin rings. I used my little trusty skinny little miniature staple gun that I absolutely love this thing. And I measured them to be what I wanted them to be. And I stapled two on each side and one in the middle right there. So this is what they look like. They're just flat on the bottom. And of course you've seen them in the with the napkin in it. I just love that shine. <laughs> so that is um, my homemade napkin rings. So yeah, that's what I did. I made six of them. And um, yeah, just, you know, what is it? The, the mother of necessity is invention. <laughs> and then with the leftover um, end of the paper that I used to uh, make them, I just cut it in tag form and embellished them. And uh, I made six little tags because that's how many. And then put twine on them. So this is a little candle I fussy cut out. Woo! Sorry about that. And then this little Christmas tree. I used one of those green Christmas trees that I had and then embellished it with all different colors Ooh, of jewels. And then 
this one is the word joy and the pine cone, double pine cones with the ribbons. And then these two are pretty much the same, just with the little colored snowflakes on them. So, yes, that's those. Now, if you, I don't know if y'all remember when Gloria, um, Raglionio, or I can't, I'm going to butcher her name, Raglionio, I'm sorry, Crafting with the Heart, Gloria. <laughs> she has sent me these two beautiful white wire bassinets. Um, well, I decided to make them into ornaments. Uh, and so what I did is I took, oh my gosh, eyelash trim in the royal blue and I put glue all around on the wire and I just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped until I got enough. And then I took the tip of a ostrich feather and put on there and glued it to it and then I just tied a ribbon on it. So that's going on my tree. Oh, and on the inside I took um mesh bag like this and stuffed it with feathers and just kind of pushed it down in there. So so I have I have two of those made. So there's one and then I was just showing you one. So they are yes, like I said they're going on my tree. <laughs> So there's that. Okay, I didn't want to. I don't want to make this too long because I just wanted to get that in there. Um, yeah, <laughs> been making more homemade tags because I've been using them on my own gifts, um, and that's that's it. That's what I'm. I'm gonna conclude that this video with just those things right there, and <coughs> excuse me. I did get my wreath done for my double window in the front of the house. It is on Instagram if you would like to go see it. And it's vconnor711 um, at Instagram. And you can see that the wreath that I made. It took me about an hour and a half to make it this morning. And got it out and up. So <laughs> Anyway, and tonight is raw. I'm sorry, you know, whatever. It's just... You know how busy it gets at this time of year. Anyway, poof, I'm going to shut. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video, these little little tidbits of, uh, of things that I make. Anyway, I love you guys. You're precious to me, and uh, I appreciate you, and thank you so much. And may you all have a wonderful and blessed day, evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to love on each other and be kind to each other. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so I love you guys. Bye from North Carolina. <laughs>